So I don't think that we've seen these uh, numbers for the lack of inventory or, or since probably, what would you say, late, late probably winter last year? Would you say that would be like similar to where the inventory kind of levels are? I would say it would are? be similar to close, to close to last year's inventory. Is that yeah. we, do, we do have less homes that come onto the market when, when the weather starts to change. As soon yeah. as fall, you know, the, the leaves are off the ground is that, you know, the market does change a little bit. Um, by saying that is that there's still a ton of demand is that we're, we're still going to be a very busy season even through the winter months. Yeah, I don't think it's going to slow down. A lot of people say, like, what's the best time to be able to sell your property? And I don't think it really matters. I think that a lot of things are still going multiple multiple offers, especially if they're, they're priced right. Uh, another one of the, the stats kind of we had was there's only 525 single family uh, properties on the market uh, and only 412 of those are available that aren't conditionally sold. So right. that's when I break down those numbers, I'm thinking that's probably a quarter of what the inventory that we possibly should have for single family houses that are available. We should probably be sitting around that's probably 1600 for 1600 single. to 2000, depending on what time of the year, you know, I think that probably your spring market would be probably that 2000 and it would probably be around that 15 to 16. Right. But typical. Yeah. This I'm, time. I was just saying just single family houses, not with townhouses right. and condos. Right. So you're right about 2000 to 2200 for an even market with probably 300,000 people, yeah. right? So, and then only 282 condos and townhouses available. So it's still one of those markets that you have to be on top of it and you have to be in there and, and know what you're doing. So, yeah. so basically the best time to sell your house is when you find the next one to move into. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. It's, we've said that kind of from the very beginning of doing yeah. this podcast is that we need to make sure that you find that right property to move into before you then sell yours, but with the right knowledge, you'll be able to maximize your return and and to, uh, and to win on both sides. So, right. yeah. Thank so, um, what are I, I guess one thing that people keep on asking us is what are the things that uh, are moving the fastest? Mm. Anything under four fifty, I would say, even if it's townhouses, single family homes, east side, west side, it it doesn't really matter. If I find that anything in those price ranges, if if they're good homes, are going probably within a day. Two days, maybe max, um, maybe even multiple offers. Right. It, now, that also depends, you know, if there are moving ready, unless there's something wrong with the house, you know, there are obviously circumstances where that's not happening. But if they're priced accordingly, they're moving ready homes, you're probably going to be expected to have that gone first day and more than likely in multiple offers. And, and I mean, it, the prices right now are even shocking to us for to, to do it, right? But you're also paying tomorrow's prices just because of the inventory. Right. And you're also paying for, you know, the older home, the location, the, you know, those kind of things, the maturity of the neighborhood, the luxuries and the amenities that those places already have as well. Those, those play a huge factor in, in what those costs, you know. It is. New construction keeps on going up. It's not slowing down. And I think as interest rates continue to decrease, those, those builders will just increase it just because of their, their profit levels, right? The cost to be able to put in uh, the, the lot prices and so forth, they're going to increase. So they're going to balance out on that. So it's not that interest rates, once they lower, it's going to give better value. I think it'll just, the prices will continue to rise from at least what I see. For sure. Well, here's the problem is it's supply and demand. That's that's always what we're going back to. It doesn't yeah. until we have, until we can see an extra thousand listings on the market is that we're still going to be in a, in a deficit of, of homes yeah. in Saskatchewan, at least. I